the Bible, the greatest book ever written, and the hardest one to read. I was given six Bibles from the time I was in third grade until I was a senior in high school. Six. For a long time, they just sat on my bookshelves, collecting dust. I didn't know what to do with them. Now, don't get me wrong. I grew up in church, and I went to Sunday school, and I heard the stories. But that's all they ever were. Stories. Genesis, creation, the Israelites, David and Goliath, even Jesus and the resurrection. But I didn't get it. How did this apply to me? I guess I was overwhelmed and intimidated. And rightly so. Did you know it's not even one book? It's a collection. It's enormous. 66 books, over a thousand chapters, and so many authors written in ancient times over a span of a thousand years and copied and copied and copied. The word from God, inspired by God. And what does that mean? It is a good book, full of adventure, beautiful poetry, and the greatest love story ever told. I got it, but I didn't get it. It was confusing and a little boring. So-and-so begat so-and-so begat so-and-so. I tried to read it like other books, cover to cover. But I didn't even get to Jesus, and he's the one I wanted to know about. I wanted to be faithful and be a good person. But how could reading the Bible really impact my life?